welcome to another video of cust ob and hr research group and in this video uh, we're going to discuss a very important issue which i have seen that most of the students are not clear when they're submitting either their uh, proposal for thesis or actual thesis after completion of their study and that is a small part of your introduction which is problem statement and most of the students are not clear that how to write a problem statement. I've seen a variety of uh, problem statements, but uh, unfortunately, most of them are incorrect. So uh, today I'll try to explain briefly how to write correct problem statement. So if you look at this example, I've taken it from a thesis. So in this uh, problem statement, uh, the student uh, starts with the purpose of the study, then uh, gives uh, different variables of interest and then what are the findings so it is not a problem statement it appears like an abstract similarly in this study the student uh, gives a background of a <coughs> variable and uh, there are certain things which are missing and that's it why we need this study what are the objectives what is the problem which is being addressed so uh, although it is uh, a bit a better uh, uh, explanation of statement, but still there are gaps. This is incomplete. So uh, based on uh, these two examples, now I'll try to explain that when you want to write a problem statement, which are the areas which you must focus practically. Uh, there are different parts of problem statement, four parts which we have to address while uh, writing a problem statement. So let's see which are these parts and how to write the problem statement. So the first part whenever uh, you want uh, to write a problem statement is principal proposition. In principal proposition, we give something which is already established. There is uh, no doubt no question about that thing so I have taken a very simple example that uh, the principal proposition if we are uh, conducting a research on polio vaccine can be the polio vaccine reduces the chance of polio prevalence among children to a large extent so it is established world over uh, the polio virus has been uh, uh, eradicated with the help of polio vaccine so this is something which is already established but principal proposition leads to interacting proposition now interacting proposition is uh, the most important uh, part of problem statement which discusses uh, the uh, uh, what are the exceptions what contradicts which has already been established so here you identify some problem okay this is something established but this is something ab about which we are not clear that's why interacting proposition normally starts with however although but or other words so it's uh, example can be you can start it with however in past few years a number of polio cases have been reported in those areas of the where where reportedly polio vaccines were administered to children so polio vaccines were administered still they got the polio disease so what are the reasons now that is a problem firstly we said it eradicates polio but then after its administration, still there are the reported cases of polio. That actually is a problem which we have reported in interacting proposition. The next uh, component is speculative proposition. This basically combines the first two. And we try to <coughs> give uh, based on the first two parts of problem statement, uh, which identifies that there is a need to explore it further this is not something complete we cannot say with 100% uh, uh, a sort of uh, it's not confirmed 100% that polio vaccine eradicates polio so speculative uh, statement uh, in this example it can be while polio drops eliminate the disease its re-emergence in certain parts of the world need a thorough examination of its causes is it vaccine or other causes which resulted its outbreak this needs further investigation so we found a need yes there is a need to further explore their phenomena so this is third part of uh, 
problem statement and the last one is explicative statement now you have to give clear statement yes what is the purpose why we are conducting this study so the, therefore the purpose of this study is to survey those areas where the polio virus is reported again among children various areas so that exact cause of its prevalence can be sorted out so there are four components of problem statements principal proposition interacting proposition speculative proposition and explicative statement if any of these components is missing your problem statement is incomplete so whenever you are developing a problem statement you have to consider these four parts now let's take some examples uh, like in this case which I have adopted from a study <coughs> principal proposition is that Career development process is critical for the success of organization and uh, research has shown that women managers experience career development differently from men. So it's a global issue that uh, because of their gender, women, their career path or career development is a bit different than their male counterparts. This is principal proposition. Now interacting proposition is however, it starts with however, little is known about the combined effect of gender and race on career development. So although it, there are studies about gender, but what is the role of race in career development of women? This is something which is not fully explored. So based on this interacting proposition, we give speculative proposition. If career development is important for organization, career development is viewed differently for men and women managers and more African women are now serving in ranks of management. And if little is known about the combined effect of sex and race on the career development, then more needs to be known. So that is speculative proposition based on first two components this is what we need to do and then explicative statement the purpose of this study was to focus on uh, African American women first line supervisor undertaker and conduct a qualitative study of their career development process so this is taken from an actual study this is this should be the format of your problem statement another example the literature says the training programs, uh, programs are most effective when the training designers and the subject matter experts work together on a collaborative basis during the training design. This is something which is already established. Now, what is missing? However, while the role of training designer and SMEs are clearly defined in the US and European based HRD literature, this professional arrangement does not necessarily characterize HRD practices globally. So it is applicable in some parts of the world but can we generalize it globally no so based on this thing there is a need to conduct a new study that we will suggest in speculative proposition so first part it combines the first part if training programs are effective then the second part it cannot be applied globally so which may have detrimental, uh, detrimental effects on the quality of training, then more needs to be known. This is speculative proposition. And then we give explicative statement. The purpose of this study was to investigate perception of human resource development professions in Taiwan regarding their working relationship with subject matter experts. So it is adopted by a study which was conducted in 2006. So based on uh, this discussion, now whenever you have to develop uh, a problem statement you must consider these four components these must be reflected in problem statement then it will be considered complete and there will be no ambiguity about it i hope uh, this discussion will clear many doubts which people have about problem statement uh, so with this uh, we'll continue uh, the next series of uh, uh, presentation with different parts of uh, research paper and thesis for clarification of different doubts which students have in their mind. Thank you very much.